So today I am able to share with you a first look at the new beta version of the Kajabi Communities function. At the time of this recording, Kajabi have only opened their beta version up to a select number of individuals. And I have been lucky enough to get access to the Kajabi Communities function. And today I'm going to show you everything you need to know when it comes out to the public, what you should do first, second, third, and fourth in order to set up your new Kajabi communities in the right way. Now, if you've been following any of my content previously, you'll know that Kajabi acquired Vibly not so long ago, a community platform in order to integrate it fully into the new Kajabi platform and make a community world-class community platform on Kajabi. And as online community is so important in this day and age, if you are looking to grow your own community or have started, then check out this new community platform. So in order to set up this new community platform from scratch, I'm gonna dive over into my laptop. So here we are inside of Kajabi and inside of one of my training sites. And if you wanted to set up your own community, your community, will cost you one product. So you can have one community per website and you can have different access groups per community. So if you have watched my previous video on Kajabi Communities, I will link this up. Kajabi Communities come with access groups. And so now access groups could be a free access group, a paid access group, but it is the one access group will equal one product. So if you go to products and then go to community, as you can see, this is a blank, uh, this is a fresh training site. I'm just gonna go to get started. So here, this is one of the now six products that Kajabi offer. And all you need to do is give it a title and a description. So I've just created some content, just chatting with AI. So if I was to start one tomorrow, I'd do something like the solo creator community. So I would just put something like that as the title. And again, I've used ChatGPT to um, get some of the community guidelines and a bit of a, a description. So harness the power of community to help you grow your one person online business, something like that. So I'd put your your main title and your main description in here and hit continue. So the next step, it's gonna ask you to upload a cover image. Now, if you were building out your own online community, I would spend some time trying to get some branding, trying to get some artwork together so you could upload a good image here. I'm just gonna go into my devices I'm going to go to my downloads and I've just created a very quick thumbnail, the solo creator community. And I'm just going to upload that just for demonstration purposes and then click continue. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to ask you for a new access group. So like I said, one product equals one access group. So I'm just going to put in here free access and I'm just going to use this as an example of a free access group. And because this is just for demonstration purposes, I've kept this community free and then I'm just going to click save and finish. You can link up any payment processes and you can put it as if it's a community or a membership that you are creating, I would probably have it as a recurring subscription membership model. So there we have it. It only took a few seconds just to build out the skeleton of your new community. So it's got the thumbnail, it's got the title and the description. It doesn't have much else in here. As you can see, it's still in beta, but this is the, the layout, the look and the feel of this new community platform. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on over into my current, uh, my live Kajabi account, and I'm gonna show you how to build this out for yourself. So here we are inside my live Kajabi account. And once you create your community, again, one community per website, and you've created your access group, it's going to give you a dashboard similar to this. So once you have members start to trickle in and join your community, you'll be able to see the number of active users, the challenges joined, the meetups, the new members and the messages sent. And this is every seven days, 30 days, three months. So this is a good snapshot of a dashboard for your online community. Then you go into access groups. You can have multiple access groups if you wish, but just remember one access group equals one Kajabi product. So depending on the plan you have, you may just wanna keep it to one at the moment. And if this is monetizable and this is your main source of income, I probably would say have a paid community. Now, currently I've just got one free access group that I created today. And then moving over to offers, this will just populate an offer for you. So free access, the solo creator community, and then into settings, all this will do, it will have the title, the description, and your cover image. That is all you have 
inside of your Kajabi dashboard. Now, all you have to do here is just hit community and this will pop open your community in a separate tab. You can always go back to your Kajabi to manage the settings, but this is the new look and the new feel of the new Kajabi communities platform. So the first thing you'll probably notice if you've used the previous one, this is a little bit more customizable. So you can see the different fonts and colors in here. You can actually scroll down the left-hand sidebar. You can actually click and drag the sidebar in and out as much as you want. You can scroll down the feeds. Down the left-hand side then, I'm just gonna go through um, each piece, piece by piece. So the solo creator community is your main thumbnail. This is the avatar of myself, which is the, the main, the founder and the creator of this community. So then you've got the title and then your description. Then you can, add, you can add in here some links either to your website, some social links. This obviously doesn't have any members in yet because it's not live. And then you can have some uh, guidelines for your community. Now, put up some guidelines that actually is in keeping with your brand and your aim and your mission. And again, you can chat with GPT, what are the best practices for community guidelines, but actually put in what feels right to you in this box here. Then you've got the, the feed, challenges, meetups, leaderboard, schedule posts, and you can also link to other courses, which I'll go in in a sec, meetups and Q&A. So first of all, I'm just going to go into the three little dots here. So you can show all of this community info or not show this community info. So I'd probably say show the community info. And then from here, you can create new announcements, new challenges, chat, feed, events, custom page, and you can even add a new access group. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and take you through the settings step by step. So from the details page, then let's look at the top right. You can click on the drop down from your avatar. You can either go into the community settings here or your account settings. You can go to your profile or your actual settings of your account or back to the Kajabi library. So make sure you've got uh, a good avatar image of yourself and you can obviously put in your own personal social links and you can put in here as much uh, or as little as you want so your your interests your hobbies where you're from uh, just so people who are in that community can get a good connection with you so going back into this settings tab then uh, from details you can this is where you can put in your social links making sure that you're happy with the url the name it's obviously just my uh, my name at the moment, I could change it to the solo creator community. Um, but I've just put in here some social links and a website link. Now, this is where you can edit your community guidelines. And so make sure you can even put an image in here. I've put solo creator community guidelines and then just put some copy in here. So when people join your community, they can they have to accept the community guidelines. So moving down then email notifications. This is for people who, uh, and yourself, who are in part of this community, what you're going to be receiving. So circles, uh, challenges, meetups, live rooms, announcements. I would typically have all of these on. So I'm getting uh, an insight into what is happening in the community. So you get some email controls and you can even scroll all the way down here and say, send weekly digest. So every week, um, it's just going to summarize all of these announcements, ta uh, stats and conversations. So I'd probably click that on. If you've got a big community, you can just send them a weekly digest. Email customization. This is where you can upload a logo. You can actually add in here your, um, if you have a hex code for your color, this is where your emails are going to actually take on your brand color. Uh, marketing contact address. I've just put in my, my business address in here. And then any of the hyperlinks that you want here, you can link out to either your own hyperlinks or using the Kajabi ones. And then all you can do here is just click on the little eye function and you can see how your emails are going to look. So um, this is how they're going to look. You can uh, customize this uh, as, uh, as much as you want or as little as you want and just use the Kajabi presets. So that's details and email notifications. Customization then going in here, this is where you can manage your homepage. So you can have the feed, the challenges, the meetups, or you can put in a program, which I'm going to touch on. The preset colors, you can either change or select any of these preset colors, and you can either have it the preview on dark or light mode. And again, each student will be able to change this in their settings also. And you can either go through here and add in your custom hex if you have a hex code. And then I've just put my hex code in here and you can either um, have it as light or as dark as you want and whatever saturation you want. 
And then you can have the features in here. You can edit each one. So you can rename the feed if you want to have it as another name. You can rename the announcements, the challenges, the circles to whatever you feel like a meetup is a call. You could have coaching calls or Q&A calls or something like that. This is where you have um, the ability for direct messaging um, with, uh, with the founder. So you can either message a founder or not. You could either hide the member directory. So if you want people to not see uh, other members, you could hide that if you want. So you could just toggle that on or off. And then you could hide the founder's profile. If you just if you had a community manager, you could just then toggle that on. And then here, the customized reaction terminology. So you could put in here thumbs up. Uh, you could put heart emoji. So you could actually make this uh, a little bit in keeping with your your brand, your terminology, your language. But I'm just going to go with those presets and then just click save. So moving down onto the left hand side challenges, this is to try and spark engagement from your community. Now I've just started a new challenge here. You can go into new challenge, have a one time challenge or recurring challenge. But all I've done here is I've asked them to take a travel photo and then post it. And I'm going to show you that in the front end. This is all the back end. So meetups. This is uh, our, our first meetup. If you wanted to create a new meetup, this is a live call. Title your event, put the location in, or you could just use a live Kajabi link. Put the start and the end date, and then a description. And lastly, remember to actually select which access group you would like to have sight of this meetup. Circles is just a place for people to engage and to chat. So I've just created a Q&A circle here. And you can go in and edit the Q&A circle. But again, making sure you're selecting the access group if you're having multiple access group to see who can actually see this circle or, or this chat group. And then the announcements. I've just put in here, welcome to the solo creator uh, community. You can put a bit of description in here and then you can pin this announcement. So what I've done is let's go back into the front end of this community. And I'm just going to show you how this presents. In the feed, you have uh, an opportunity to put in a photo. So this is just a photo of me in New Zealand. I'm traveling. This is the whole idea of me creating a one-person business to have the most flexibility, solo creator to travel the world and work anywhere. And then you can just start writing posts in here. You can pin posts. You can comment. You can actually react to different posts. This is the welcome. So if you click on show more, this is welcome to solo creator community. And then down here, you have like scheduled meetups or scheduled challenges. And down the left hand side, as we have no members, you can't click on members, but you can actually pop out the community guidelines. And then scrolling down for the feeds, you can click into the challenges. So this is the first challenge. If people want to join the challenge, they can either click join or go into the challenge, read a little bit more about it, click join the challenge. And then this is going to give them points for the leaderboard. Because when you actually go into meetups, this is the welcome call. So they can either add it to the calendar, click that they're going, and then join this call as and when they need. The leaderboard, if you wanted to use a leaderboard, they've got a tog toggle for monthly and all time. And you can actually filter it by different access groups. So if you had different groups of people within your community, you could have a number of different leaderboards. And then schedule posts. So you could write something and then schedule it for later on in that week to actually engage your members at a set date and time. Next, we can actually link out to any programs that you have. So I've got a program called Kajabi Unboxed. And you can link out to any of your programs just by having it linked in inside your own community. So it's actually quite nice. If you wanted to add any more of these, you could actually do create new and a custom page. You can have whatever page you're having in your Kajabi right in your community, which is a great feature. And then for the meetups, uh, you have all the functions down here. You can click and drag uh, where, you're, where you want the meetups or the Q&As to go. And then you can actually click on the little settings icon for any of these and then edit as you see fit. So that's a down the left hand side column. You do have a search function, which is pretty cool. You can command K and then search anything in your community in terms of people or posts. Going back to the feed now, you can either just click live and go live. Uh, we've got a, a banner up here that says, welcome to the solo creator community. You can actually read more or cancel that. You can submit feedback. You have a notification center here, which is great. Uh, you can message people on here. 
And then when you click into your avatar, you can actually change the theme to light or dark, go back into your library, or you can go into your community settings or your account settings. So that is a very quick sneak peek into the new Kajabi communities function. It's acting a little bit more like a Facebook group. There's a lot more you can do to customize your own community and engage your members. So if community is something you're thinking about, just remember that one access group in that community uses up one Kajabi product. So just have a think of the best way of setting this up. But by all means, start a community, get a feel for the look and the new feel from this community and play around with some of the settings to try and create your own community with your own style and your own branding. But if you still don't have access to a Kajabi account, I have got you covered. I can get you a 30 day free trial. That's over double the 14 days available to the public simply by using my link. You can head to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and get a free account for 30 days to take it for a spin. And yes, this is an affiliate link, but all that means is if you continue to be a paying member of Kajabi past those 30 days and know it and love it like I do, all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. But as a thank you for using my link, I'm going to automate you a free program. It's called Kajabi Unboxed. I've just showcased it here. You can get access to this program and it's what I would do if I was to open up a brand new account tomorrow inside of Kajabi. And if you continue to be a paying member of Kajabi and go past those 30 days, just reach out to me, Tim at timpeakman.com and I'll send you some more Kajabi sales page templates. These are the templates I use in my business. Super easy. You can just download them from my program and upload them into your Kajabi account. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight and inspiration as to what's possible with the new Kajabi communities function. But I'd love to know in the comments down below, which is your favorite Kajabi product? Is it community? Is it courses? Is it coaching? All that's left to say then is words of encouragement. Keep promoting yourself, keep putting content out there and keep helping people digitally. That link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi. Check out some of the awesome bonuses on that page and I look forward to seeing you on the very next video.